Okay, 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 what's up? How is everybody doing? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. JC in the building. Hey, um, back to Coke Studio we go. This time, season seven. I'm not sure if I uh, reacted to anything from season seven yet. I'm not sure, but I'm about to. Um, one of my commenters, um, it is, let's see, let's see, um, Rasha, I believe, R-O-S-H-E, said, check out Chop Tilak from Coke Studio Season 7. It's mesmerizing, so that's what we're going to do. And if I can remember, after the song, I'm going to recommend a song to you, for you to check out, and let me know what you think. So, let's check out Chop Tilak. I've I've literally spent the last
When you list your gear for sale oh, on Reverb, no. you get it in front Damn of millions of musicians too. ready to buy their next instrument with a team of gear experts. I guess I need to. Uh, um, well, that was unexpected, wasn't it? How's that? Uh, how's that for a reaction video? But what I was going to say there two, three minutes in was, you know, I spent the first two minutes or so searching the room for Kleenex because... <laughs> Uh, I could feel the waterworks coming on. It had nothing, you know, it had nothing to do with the lyrics, particularly at least the English translation. It just had everything to do with the, the implied, the implied emotion that the singers we're, we're delivering. Uh -huh. <laughs> Music is uh, truly universal, isn't it? Wow. Well, um, <laughs> it almost seems kind of petty now, um, but um, Rosh. Asha, uh, thank you for that recommendation. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but uh, whew, it, I kind of got caught up, as you could tell. Thank you. Uh, what I'm going to recommend, uh, a song from one of my favorite bands of all time. I feel like they've been one of my top three or four favorite bands uh, since the mid-80s. That is England's XTC on their last album, which I think dates back to 2001, 2002. They do a song, pardon this not, they do a song called We're All Light. And a few minutes into the song, um, the singer, Andy Partridge, does a brief little vocal run. And just for a second, just for a second, um, he kind of transcends. He kind of transcends from Western pop music briefly to Eastern in his little vocal path, and uh, it made me think of um, all this wonderful uh, Middle Eastern, specifically Pakistani uh, music I've been hearing lately. Um, also, uh, the drummer. Uh, on this XTC album is Ashwin Sood, who is, I believe at the time, I'm not sure if he still is, but he was Sarah McLaughlin's, McLaughlin's um, uh, husband. And uh, he is of Middle Eastern descent. I think he was born in, uh, raised in England, but his heritage is Middle Eastern, um, perhaps Indian. Woof. That was a lot, uh, and it absolutely made my day. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.